Hello! This video, let's have a look at how to remove this desktop GUI feature in Windows Server 2012 R2, release 2. Okay, basically, what we're trying to do over here is if it's just running on, shall we say, a non GUI based thing, it's a little bit more efficient. Also, there's a chance that it's a little bit more secure as well. Okay. So all we need to do is just launch PowerShell. It's right over there. Okay, if we don't have it over there, we just go here, type in PowerShell. Okay, and then basically it should come up in a minute. Right click on that, and then run as administrator. Okay, and then it brings this up. Now make sure you type in this Okay, it's basically remove dash windows feature space, and now we need to get rid of the two features. Okay, server dash GUI dash MGMT management dash infra, comma, and then server dash GUI dash shell. Okay, now this thing does require a restart. Okay, so we put in the dash restart in there. Okay, click enter. Okay. And then this will collect all the information regarding it, which should take ooh, probably about a minute or two, even less. Okay, and now we get to the screen. Okay, we're go to its magical 30% over here and then restart. And then the remaining gets done when it restarts. Okay. And welcome to your new Windows Server without the GUI. Now, let's try and get our GUI back, okay, which is not that hard. All we need to do is switch to PowerShell first. Okay, now we try with the first thing. Install. Okay. Whoops. Dash. Windows feature. Okay, you can add in the capitals for each of them. Okay, that's what you'll find most examples having, but it doesn't really matter when we're doing it. Server dash GUI. It's basically what we had taken out last time. We're just putting it back. MGMT dash infra. Okay, and then comma. And then it's server dash GUI dash shell. And we are going to need that restart again. Okay. Now, at this point, once it's finished collecting data, if you get a red error message, basically what you need to do is mount okay insert your windows dvd okay windows server dvd or usb to one of your drives okay and then you need to gonna mount the wim file okay that's in the windows directory and once it's mounted then you basically use the previous command but add the source of the files basically coming from that mounted WIM file. If you have issues with that, please put a comment below and we can show a video of how to do that. Okay, so in this instance, it's gone ahead and now it's going to restart. And there we have it. After our restart, we're back to the way we were. Hopefully this has helped you. Thank you for watching.